Hey, you, you just wait. Wait a couple minutes for the coffee. No, wait, man. Wait. Just wait a couple minutes for the coffee. Oh, my God. Is that a little beef? There's going to be a beef in the back. I got my coffee. What's going on, ladies and gents? Cerebro here for T3G along with Full Throttle. And we're going to do our weekly TV show review. And we got a semi-pleasant surprise this week. Gotham was not done. Um, I don't know. Last I checked, there were no more episodes. But here we are with uh, four more episodes with starting with the, this past week. So let's talk about that first. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Uh, you know what? Um, she got shot, so I'm hoping she's dead by next episode. I hope so. And... Uh, <laughs> That's about all I got for Gotham. No, listen, it was an okay episode. Um, I was shocked that it was bad. Thank God it was bad because it ending like it did was not an ending. So, um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's just, um, I don't know. It wasn't a, wasn't really an episode I was really excited. One, I wasn't excited about it because I had no idea it was coming back. And two, I just, I don't know. It was just, uh, it was an episode. It was an uh, it was okay an ep episode. It was okay, you know, it wasn't... It was an okay episode. Um, to me, it was, it was, uh, most of it was just, like, kind of cop drama. Because um, it's like, oh, the commissioner set this guy, you know, he set him up to try to get killed, basically, or to have his, you know, family killed or whatever. Right, right. Um, and it's like, I mean, I see where you're going, and, you know, it, it shows more of the corruption. But it's like, nah, like, you're really... Something, I, I was watching... Um, the SourceFed crew do their review. They were talking about Daredevil. And the big thing that, you know, they talked about was that they really show the corruption. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, it's like, I get it. Like, yeah, everyone's corrupt. And, like, yeah, that's kind of, like, the overhanging thing. Right. But they don't really show it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's right. like, oh, this random cop shows up. He's like, hey, there's this case. Can you just, you know, I'm trying to help you out. Right, right, right. You know, it just didn't see, like, I don't know. It just kind of seems like day-to-day -day and then, like, whenever they need someone to be corrupt, they are. Right. Whereas... You know, you know, we'll talk about that in a different video, but on Daredevil, like, everybody's corrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, so it, it, that was kind of the only thing, and I like the fact that it was uh, Peter from, from Heroes uh, on the on the show. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, yep. That was cool. I like that. Uh, and, I think um, he did a great job as that character. He really showed another good portion of his acting with that character. He really was sadistic mm -hmm. and, like, Absolutely. menacing, so... I enjoyed that. That I was really that. good for him as an actor. That yeah, that was for really good for him role. as an actor, that was really a good role. It's just another role to see him in, um, and then um, yeah, I mean overall, I think it was, I think it was an okay episode. Um, you know, it, I, it's been rough for Gotham. It's for me, it started out good. Then it just started like becoming it's weird and huh? It is continuing. It so is continuing. It's it's got a, it's <clears throat> got an extension for season two. So an extension. It's like it's like uh, it's like we're talking about like a death sentence. Like yeah, you uh, know. the the governor's called in. They've they've commuted the sentence for one more season. Right. So because it's it's Fox and it especially like with these last four episodes, like I had no idea they existed until these last four episodes showed up. Yeah. Um. So that was one of those things, like we talked about. Like I truly don't think they knew they were going to exist. I'm saying, they, <laughs> like that's I, no what one it was feels talking like. about it. No one was like there were no previews, nothing, because usually it's on Facebook or something. Somebody and, would have said, "Oh, Gotham, next four episodes of Gotham or something will yeah. be will be returning, like something like that." It just but didn't nothing. seem like they. they like, it it was seemed just, like there was really no attention given to that whatsoever. Right. Um. I well, the one thing I did really enjoy in this episode was the Selena and and Bruce storyline. That was cool yeah. That was that he was went. Cool. He found the guy. Mm -hmm. He kind of got an idea of who it was, and then Selena throws him out of fucking window. Yeah, yeah. That was like, that was no cool. joke. Like that. And that's, no I joke. Think that's, she pushed him. She just straight up. Yeah, she, she was like, like "No, nah, you're not gonna tell anybody who I am." And he's yeah. just kind of like, "I know that was necessary, but I don't think I'm okay with it." Right, right, right. Because <laughs> like, it was very much like I think this is where like the rift is gonna start growing, which is it's still weird to me that we're talking about Bruce and Selena. Like it's like it's a normal thing. Like it's a normal. Like it's not. It's not supposed to be originally in the original storylines. They never knew each other at this young of an age. Right. So it's weird to kind of see them together. But I guess you know if they are ever going to build towards a Batman story, this is where this split is going to happen. Where the rift is going to become it's, it's, obvious. Is you're going to see her do more criminal things and him do him go towards more of the the like the, the light and justice side of right. things. Right. I mean, in all honesty, it's very hard to say. Uh, where this show is going, uh, it, it's at this point it's just hard to say where it's going because it's got it. It's weird. It started out, oh, you know, we're making this show not uh, you know something before Batman, this or that. 
then they've used Bruce Wayne a lot. And, and, and really just, his, his growth into being Batman. Yeah, and his growth being going into Batman. And it's just like, you know, I, I as much as you want this show, sure. like as much as they wanted this show to not be a Batman show. Like it's, it's fine. It's, it's a Batman show. It's fine show. if this is Smallville. Right. I'm fine with I'm that. I'm fine with that because that's just what they bring... wanted back in Smallville. They wanted a, a, a Gotham show. You, you think it's... this is maybe how they got it? <laughs> It's possible. They're like, they're like, we're gonna make a Gordon it's show, possible. but then it's like, really, it's not a Gordon. It really like, it's is a just Gordon an show, extremely like, young Bruce. Like it's Wayne Gordon, show. but like really, there's more. It's more entertaining to watch the Bruce part. So. It really is. <laughs> and the only thing, and I will say something more about this episode than the show itself. But I was kind of disappointed. Like, so you got this old friend of Alfred's to be working for uh, uh, Bruce, uh, Wayne's Enterprise. Wayne Enterprise, yeah. And and then all of a sudden they literally find him. In the street, you'd think Wayne's Enterprise would hide this guy instead of a little kid being able to find him easily in the slums. I'm I'm thinking so. Well, I mean, it's, here, it's here's the thing. So, it's a little weird. Well, it's a little this weird. is, I think, where the, the breakdown of that you know current Wayne Enterprises is going to come th- from is they're not making the right decision. They're not making the smart decisions. You know, oh yeah, yeah, let, let's hire somebody to like infiltrate them. All right, well, who do we need? We need somebody they'll trust. All right, well, let's find somebody who's related to them in some way you know okay right. so his his butler has this old friend from right from his right. war days he happened to be happens to be an alcoholic all right well clean him up and send him in there and then we'll cut him loose right right because that's they don't they don't they are they aren't used to this kind of stuff mm-hmm. i think that's kind of what i'm thinking is they're they're really kind of playing by the edge of their seat like no one's looked into them before like gotham's been corrupt ever since the dawn of time so like no one's been looking into them before so now they're like uh how do we like solve this kid really wanting to know what's going on right 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 no absolutely but um i mean at the same time you would think if they were smart enough to do that they would be smart enough to at least hide the guy or something (laughs) and just be able to find him but that being said it was just another episode of gotham uh really shocked that it was back I uh, had no idea. My my wife came out. She's like, oh, we got an episode of Gotham. And he called me. He's like, uh, no, so Gotham? Don't. And I'm so, like, no. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was yeah, that was was yeah just interesting. So then hopefully then we'll at least have a decent season finale. I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, that's all I can say is I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much about this episode. It, it, like I said, Milo was really good in it. Yeah. He was, he was, he was top-notch at I, that character. I, I also got to chuck a lot of the fact that they were kind of making fun of uh, Fifty Shades. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little, a little, bit. little bit. A little, little bit. A little bit. And, and as soon as he said like unconditional love, I was like, "This guy's a weirdo." Right. Like, like because that was that's a really specific statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was like unconditional love, right. and I was like, ah. "Yeah, yeah." So, but that that's about it. Where you want to go? Uh, what show next? Let's talk about Eye Zombie. Eye Zombie. I really like this episode. Um, it was really, it was it evolved her character a little more. It kind of gave her a little more personality. Uh, you know, relating her back to her her college days and kind of what she's missing. You know, mm-hmm. she should that mentality. You know, that that personality she took on from the from the from the victim of you know living life by the edge of your seat right. and kind of taking it by the reins. You know, she was biking everywhere and they showed all those scenes of her just yeah. biking around, which you know is completely not what she's normally been doing in the show. Not so I really liked the way they showed that, like a, yeah. kind of who she was. I liked the fact that there was a. a deeper emotional relationship with that with you know brain she ate yeah, yeah, yeah um so that was cool and but i don't like the fact that the dude was like oh i'm a zombie and then he's like that was it she was like oh cool right that's kind of like how it went down oh something something zombie and she was like really you too like yeah all right let's continue talking about other things right not like how did you become a zombie <laughs> well i mean listen <laughs> uh and I, I still think it's funny that everybody else Laughs at her when she says full on zombie mode. Right, right, right. Um, I I don't know for the whole zombie part, like him being a zombie. Like I was as soon as he started play, making the Bloody Mary, and I was like, "Yep, I know where this is going. He's a zombie." Like I just I called it. And then the, the police like, chief is a zombie. Yeah, I knew that too. And as soon so, as, so as, soon like, as I this... saw him growing, his, I was like, "He's a zombie," because they mentioned literally right before how like like they're have issues about grooming nails or something like that. Like, oh, interesting. I, I didn't catch yeah, that Yeah, so, like, right as no, I No, he, like, opened the like, drawer oh, and it was just, a, 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 just like, nothing else in a bowl of sriracha. And I was like, damn it. Right. <laughs> um, so, um, I, the episode was good. Like I mentioned in the previous review of the show itself, 
Um, she plays a lot of these like different emotions really well, and I like it. She, none of them are over she's the top. Versatile, yeah. uh, she's really able to just play the emotions very well, and and it almost reminds me of uh, I keep forgetting her name, but from Dollhouse, she was always able to play. That's that's why. Yeah, that's when I yeah, started my actually. Movie, my movie girlfriend. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, I didn't like her in Buffy. Like, I think she over overacted the toughness. Okay, I, I think that was the character. That's I think, fine. I think that's Faith fine. Was supposed Once, to be that way. That's I, fine. Because I, I know what you're talking about. I always had a problem with it too. Yeah. Uh, but then, like, even when she went to Angel, like, she still had that kind of mentality. No, no, I, I understand like, that. But I mean, like, right. But that being said, like, I think she overplayed the toughness. A lot of a lot of female actresses do that. And where in Dollhouse, she actually showed me that she can actually play everything perfectly and so that's what i feel of this actress in i zombie is she, every emotion so far she's gotten she's played it really well she's in played it well to integrate it with her character as well so i think that's been done really well overall i think it was a good episode uh just basically what we've seen so far kind of the same thing i'm i'm, I'm hoping to see a little more out of this show right now it's just been well, four or five episodes of the same thing. I want so. there to be something a little bigger, something more overreaching. Like, yeah, we have, uh, we have. I, I always forget his name, so I'm always going to call him Sark. But <laughs> we have the guy who played Sark. You know, we have the main bad guy, kind of like developing this um, empire of making people into zombies and then selling them brains. And at the same time, we have, you know, her just kind of live day to day to life. Like they haven't really clashed on a one to one level. Right. So there isn't. There's still not a main conflict. Like there's a day to day. You know, procedural stuff where it's like, oh, somebody dies. Use the thing to, you know, use your yeah. power to find them. But, like, there there needs to be... They need to figure out that something else is going on. That's why I was really mad about the fact that he was like, oh, totally, I'm a zombie too. And it didn't phase her. Right. She was like, really? And it was like, I'm so excited now that you, this this hot guy is somebody I could talk right, to. Right, right. And I was kind of like, I mean, I see what you're doing, but like, where's the curiosity? Al- although, here's my question. So she turned into a zombie by being scratched. you think the boyfriend might be turning into a zombie? Because he just got his butt whooped. I think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. I don't uh, think he's, he's dead. He's not. Oh, uh, yeah, he's but he, he wasn't scratched. The guy, I think the guy was wearing gloves, actually. Okay. Because okay. uh, he beat his ass, but he he barely mainly beat his ass by like throwing him. Right. He chucked him like twenty feet. Yeah. Also, forty people just saw that dude chuck a guy forty feet. Well, don't, <laughs> like, don't ask, don't tell. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's the streets, I guess. But it's, it's going to be one of those things again. The cop, like the you know the police chief, is now a dude. So even if, the, or at least that department had you know that lieutenant for the uh, homicide. Right. So even if if he does die, they're going to go to this point of like, hey. Who, who cares? Like these guys are saying that this guy threw him. You know how many feet? Like that's not possible. Let's just start, let's look for other suspects. Right, right. You know. So I, and I knew the shoes were going to be a thing. The shoes are obviously going to be there. Well, yeah, I wasn't worried about that. I knew the shoes were going to be a thing. I just I, I'm having a strong suspicion that the boyfriend might. But you know who he? Turn into a but you know who he reminds me of? Who? Because they call him Major. Oh, the the boyfriend, the ex boyfriend. Yeah, when they call him Major, I thought it was funny because. On Chuck, they called the one dude awesome. Oh, okay. So he kind of reminds me of him because he's very similar to him, except except not really that airheaded. I only watched a few episodes of Chuck, so I don't know what you're talking about. So My, I'm gonna make this kid watch Chuck. And um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, I mean, once again, it, she's doing a good job playing the character. She's doing a good job playing the different emotions. The episode was just another episode of the previous ones we've seen. Just her eating brains, trying to figure out a crime. A little bit of uh, the other zombie doing his thing, but you know we'll see. Uh, I kind of wish there was a little more to this, but you know we'll something see. Something a, a little, you know. Some obviously we have something building, but we still don't know what. They haven't really like you know. Are, is she going to start you know superhero crime fighting this guy trying to take him down? Like you can't really. His his reach is so high, and right. there's so many people that have already been turned. Like what's the next step? Is the next step like everybody turns into zombies and like we just kind of deal with it as a, as a species? Right. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like or the whole city like, and then everybody else com- you know comes to com- whoever comes to visit. They're like, why is everybody so pale? Here? Right. <laughs> like it's very sunny out. Why yeah. is everybody so pale? So uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I just um, I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for it's good. I just hope it doesn't become stale. That's right. really yeah. the best Agreed. way I can put Agreed. it. Agreed. Completely agree. That's the best way I can put it. Let's talk about agents. Agents. Um, I love the fact that she was like, right, listen, listen. The story, I'm going to tell you the story, This the story, and then it's like, this story is actually about me and your and your father. Oh, by the way, I'm your mother. 
It was like not a direct way to tell her. It was awesome. She was like, you were born this day and it was this hot and your husband, your, your dad did this and this. And while I waited and she was like, <gasps> I was like, that's great. Like I would have almost preferred not to know that she was her mom because right. I would have wanted to find out as a, as a viewer that way. Right. I, like, I think it's, uh, I mean, overall for me, for the episode, like that part of it, I was like, I knew it was going to come out somehow, some way. Yeah. Like it's weird though that they're talking about like. They they had to ex that chick. They had they they said they executed her, like they dealt with her. So they said somehow they had influence or had influence with somebody because they said we had to deal with it. This because the backstory was playing at the same time of Bahrain, right? Mm-hmm. And in Bahrain, she was she had to go and kill the little girl. So she killed the mom and the little girl. But like, she, like. Sky's mom was saying that they did that. They executed that. So they had some sort of influence with S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. Because she was like, you know, if, if people knew you were my daughter, like, measures are taken and steps are taken. And I'm like, and, you know, the whole thing is playing out. And I'm like, but, like, I'm not seeing any of this influence. I'm not seeing any of this, like, I was thinking maybe, like, last second, you know, Gordon or whatever shows up, stabs the girl, pieces out. But no, like, it was completely, it was civilian organization and S.H.I.E.L.D. So they have some sort of influence at some level, I think. I, I don't know. Because I think this is what's going to come into play into bringing them with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because she, she told her that if they find, like, they can't know because if they find out you're my daughter. Right. They're going to, like, they're going to handle it. Right. Because she said, we, like, we had to do this. And she tells her the story of what we're seeing in the backstory. Yeah, yeah, no, but I think the reason she was telling her the story is because they made a mistake previously trusting a mother-daughter they relationship. They didn't. She took it. She stole it. Right, because they trusted a mother-daughter relationship. That's why they brought the girl in, because they trusted the mother on her fate towards her daughter, where she said she saw that the daughter was in something that uh, was right. not good with her, but they still trusted a mother-daughter relationship. And so that's why she's saying they can't know that we're mother and daughter, because they'll think that I'm, you know, not viewing it in a in a proper way. I don't think they had any... I think they did. No, there's... Watch that again. I, I, watch it again. I don't have to. I paid attention. <laughs> you watch it again. You're the one that missed... Uh, you're the one that missed... Uh, uh, anyway, um, let's talk uh, about yeah, that. Yeah, Walking Dead. Anyway, um, we're not talking about that. So that being said... I like uh, that. I, I But, like, I think, I think they have some sort of influencer connection because um, I think it would be very much like... We know, you know, because we, we, we know what happened last time that a mother, like, because what you're saying, like, you know, she might not see it the right way and she, right. she might not agree with the council decision right. or whatever. and so the girl then stole the thing, yeah. Right, but they're saying that they had to handle it. Yeah. She said that they did it. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They, she said they had to fix it. I'm telling you. Uh, they went in to try to fix it. But they didn't. Right, because they didn't make it in on time. No. Okay, I'm I mean, you. we'll see who's right or wrong. I'm pretty sure <laughs> you're wrong, but we'll go with Tell that. Somehow, somehow they have connection. I'm pretty sure. But you're otherwise, wrong. Um, I liked seeing. Uh, I like seeing the backstory. I like seeing May when she was kind of happy. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> like, what I was going like, to say. That's what I was going to say. I thought it was cool of seeing how May became the cavalry, and uh, I thought that was an interesting and story. I liked the fact that it wasn't like. Oh, it's because she destroyed a hundred people. No, it's because she had to. Like the the story is bad because, because she, she had saved to stab a, a girl. No, it, well, yeah, I mean, the, she had the, to stab a child. The reason the legend the legend like grew so fast and like as soon as she walked out, they, they right. were all like, already like I guess the cavalry already like really did go in. Right, right. That and part. The, re- but the reason like, that, the, the reason, reason that nobody that talks she, about it is because she stabbed a girl and she don't want nobody talking about the words that she doesn't talk about. It, right. Yeah, but because, her and Coulson. Right. Yeah, but like it's it's one of those things that the reason everyone else like built up that legend is because she went in by herself right, right, sure. to a really high end situation yeah, 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 and like yeah. forty dudes made it out, no no casualties right. besides the actual right. you know Sure. So it, it was kind No, of, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying like why they're not talking about it isn't like because she had to take on a hundred people. She they're not talking about it because Yeah, she I mean I always knew it was some it. something tragic, I mean, that's something that you wouldn't want to talk about. Okay. Well I mean, I mean like like I said, that's I was I was happy with that. Yeah. That I was, was good. happy with that. Um is her there, telling that she's her Mom, I expected that to happen at some point, so I'm not surprised. I I I don't know how I knew, but I knew that um, Reina's dreams were prophetic. 
See, Before that, you even realize, like last episode, I was like, she's probably a psychic. Like that's the one thing I was not paying attention. Like when she was talking about it, oh, she was like, I had these dreams. Like, and, like yeah, told, I wasn't told, like told I just I kind of was like blanking at that point, so I wasn't personally thinking all like, oh, she might be a psychic. And then they were like, and then like when when like when the last part of the episode was coming on and then she was sitting down with her parents i was like oh look at that and Raina's psychic because <laughs> last so. episode because last episode when she confronted her she said i have all these horrible nightmares and right there i was like she's psychic well like i don't know why she's a porcupine but she's psychic right. <laughs> like she's a psychic porcupine right <laughs> so yeah so uh, you know i think that's cool that's cool that she has i don't think that's gonna make her any happier that she looks like a porcupine so i don't think so i think it's funny because what they're doing is they're trying to they're they're doing kind of they're dipping into both ponds usually in the comics if a character has like a physical change it their power is somehow related to that Mm -hmm. so like i think there is like a character who's like I'm, maybe not a porcupine, but like sim- similar, like some sort of growth on them. Right. But they have like electric. Well, she's powers. not a she's not a porcupine. She, they're thorns. That's why, like they like she told her in the beginning. She's like, oh, it's funny. You always wore those flower dresses, and now you right, have right, thorns right. on you. So I just still call her porcupine. But uh, um, we know she's not a porcupine. She looks like a porcupine. She does look like a porcupine. <laughs> but anyway, so she's got this, this. You know, so I think there was somebody who had a similar, like a similar look, but their power was like really visual. It was mm-hmm. like electric and you know explosions and stuff. And, but this way, they're like, all right, well, we're, we got to do a lot of physical work. We got to give her this crazy makeup. Right. So let's give her a power that we don't have to do anything. Right, sure. But it's like, oh, she has dreams. Cool. We'll just shoot some extra stuff. Right. That would like, you know, be crew can shoot like three extra scenes. And right, right, If right. we ever need to show her dreams, oh, it's yeah. cool. But I mean, I thought that was uh, cool. Otherwise, I mean, it was an okay episode. I'm not, I wasn't like crazy about it, but I wasn't. It was good, but it was, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't anything, anything major. It wasn't. It wasn't anything. It's one of insane. those other talking episodes. That's about it. Um, I think, I think Bobby's gonna switch. I think Bobby's gonna switch. I back. don't care. Really? Yeah, no, because she should have figured it out. Like the Coulson was never a bad guy. So yeah, he was having some things going on in his head because of the serum that was running. I in love him. the end, but though. like. He was never a bad guy. He never jeopardized the group. He never made the group like he never tried to harm the group. He always tried to beat the bad guys and, and pursuing what they were pursuing faster. Yeah. Like he was never a bad guy. So for her to be like, no, well, Coulson's uh, hiding things. I was like, I don't care if you like him now. Like if you're actually like, oh, maybe he's not so bad. Well, you should have realized that. I just want, I just want Bobby back. I just want Bobby back. I don't. Because care. I want her. Like that's how they've written the character for I me would now like that her, I just don't care. I would like her to join the Avengers. I don't care. Because I want I want Natasha to have to leave for some reason. I don't care. Like I really like Black Widow. I really do. I like I love Scarlett Johansson. Like I think I'm in love with her. <laughs> uh, but like I, I think to to kind of make it more fluid of a of a movie series, somebody has to leave. And I think there there's I mean, obviously there's a huge conflict at the end of this coming movie that I think somebody's gonna right, leave. Right, so right. I think they can bring in other characters. Um I like the end where he's like Oh, you're in a bathroom. Does it have one of those electric hand dryers? He's like, yes. You're going to be okay. And it's just like, cut scene. And I was like, that's... What does that mean? <laughs> like, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> so, yeah. You, you were, that, that I, I really, like, not... This show has very minimal impact on me. Oh, man. They, they need to do a lot for this show to actually give me any kind of really major satisfaction like other shows. Wow. They, listen, they messed up. Most people are still not watching. At least I'm giving it two seasons now. I hated the first season. The first season was god awful. I don't god know awful. Why. I disagree. God awful. Let's talk about Flash. <laughs> Let's talk about <laughs> Flash. Um, I think uh, I, I enjoy. I mean, honestly, there's nothing like I thought. Flash was great. I think um, they're. I think they're really forcing the thing where like they're gonna split up Eddie and and Iris. They're really kind of forcing it because like. She's having this thing where she's like, "Oh, you're you're holding something. You're like keeping something from me. You're keeping something from me." And he's like, "I, I can't talk about it." Right? Like he's not really holding it. Like he's telling you there is something he cannot talk about. Like I can't talk about it. And like, she's like, "Yes, I am." She's like, like, "You need to." And walks away. And I was like, oh, the, "Yeah, no, that, that's that not part, how relationships yeah, work." Yeah, like, yeah, no, I can't talk about it. Like. She's an intelligent young woman. Like, she's not some blonde, like, ditzy, you know, right. valley girl. Sorry to anybody from the valley. That's just, like, the first thing that comes to mind when I describe that. I'm thinking of Clueless, really. Um, she's not one of those people. She's in it, like, she's a freaking investigative reporter. 
you're going to tell me that you're not okay with somebody saying, a police officer, mind you, saying, I can't talk about it. That could be an ongoing case, a secret case. Like, you can't even fathom the things that it could be. Like, let alone what it actually is. Right. Like, it's, which is like a secret that's not his to tell. Right. It's something that he can't talk about. He is a freaking police officer. Are you joking? So that's why I feel like they're really trying to force that conflict. Because I think, I think in reality, Iris would understand. I think that, I think there's no reason why they couldn't stay together. Sure. I mean, even, listen, even after even after Barry tells her, because that's going to happen. Listen, I mean, I didn't care for that part of the episode. I actually completely ignored that part of the episode because it just didn't matter to me. Uh, I if didn't they like, want to write her, if they if they wanted to write her character that way, where she like all of a sudden in one episode gives two craps about him not explaining to her, not not the fact that he's not telling her, but explain to her. Listen, I just can't talk about it. Like he's not even saying, "Oh no, no, it's nothing." No, like he's saying, there is something, just can't talk about it. Get over it. Like, the same, the same high school. Get over it. I'm saying. It's it's not. So, that being done, I'm done with that part of the show. Um, Queen Bee was, I mean, it's it's Beth from uh, Walking Dead. Um, I didn't really like her performance. Um, it, I didn't really like her performance. It was weird. Okay, so when she first tells the bee to fly, I thought that part, that scene was like, I'm like, okay, not bad. All right. Um, you know, it was just a real quick scene, a whole, like, 30-second um, scene. But then when you start watching her, like, trying to tap at the computer in her cave, and it's like, it's a little over the top. Yeah. It was a little, she did it, but she played a little over the top. Like, I don't think she played crazy really well. All right. Because that was the problem, is because Queen Bee, or I think that's what they called her. Right. Well, whatever, Queen Bee is nuts you know and this character especially especially the way they portrayed her is she you know had this idea they shot her down they fired her and so she went crazy and like when people go crazy they they obviously they behave a certain way and i just she seemed she seemed like a person who's not crazy pretending to be crazy right like pretending to be crazy enough to do what she was doing right you know because she might she might be weird or you know like be out of her head for some reason but she's not at that lentil, le- level of I don't know lentil I don't know where lentil is lentil come from. <laughs> but I don't know she's not at that level of really kind of doing genuinely evil things like she just right. doesn't, at least she doesn't give that off mm-hmm. um, like I like the little I like her dress because it had the little honeycomb design I love the fact that the bees were robots that was fantastic I love the design of them like it, like they she wasn't made of. Huh? She wasn't a meta human. She wasn't a meta human, which is really cool. And we'll talk about that in the next uh, next scene, or next. Uh, we're we'll talking about that in Arrow, rather. And um, but she wasn't a meta human, which is cool. So like a little variety to the show. Um, the team up with uh, Adam was cool. Adam, like yeah, that. Adam being there, the like semi team up, which was yeah. cool. Um, it was fun. It was fun. I like the little bromance between him and Cisco. It was, yeah, it was cool. yeah, it was cool because it's like, oh, hey, everybody's. Everybody's, coming up with names and stuff. Yeah, That's they're cool. yeah they're coming up with names together and all this stuff. And I'm sitting there like, all right, well, this is cool. Like, I like the fact that like they're gonna rely on each other. And like when when it comes time, a year from now, two years, whatever, when it's like Justice League time or Justice Society, why why I, what I the way I hope, um, it's it's gonna be natural. It's not gonna be like oh hey we happen to be in the same place facing against like the same super powerful guy, like that has its place. But because these shows are being built on like the story and being built on the the, the family level mm-hmm. of characters, there needs to be relation. Like, right. Flash is going to get into something that's going to be super crazy, and he's going to be like, "Ali, uh, I need I need backup, right? Hardcore, <laughs> and like, and that's 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 how you, we're going to get a society, you know, right. elite or society or whatever." I I love the fact that Cisco's remembering. Um, yeah, and yeah. again, I, I had a kind of a problem with that because I'm like, well, "That's weird." Why is there was like that was undone? So like, it's not like. It's not like he... Yeah, it's it's like I can't wrap my mind around it because it doesn't make sense. Let me, but let it's me, like... This is, again, so I watched the Source Federal review shows and they were talking about that it could be because Wally, or Barry, Barry, I keep saying Wally, like Barry obviously used the Speed Force to go back in time. Right. He was in direct contact with the Speed Force when that happened, or right before that happened, because he jammed his hand through him and shook him apart, basically, shook, shook, shook his insides apart. And probably moved his heart or something. So he had, like, 
I guess. the effect of the Speed Force. So maybe some sort of... But also, that in addition with the fact that Barry... Like, as soon as Barry was like, hold on, I'm going to try something. And he goes down with his hands vibrating. I was like, this is how vibe happens. Because if you guys don't know, Cisco's character... Cisco's name, rather, is uh, attached to a character called Vibe in the comics. And... I was, as soon as he did that, he was like vibrating hands, and I was like, "This is how vibe happens. This is how he becomes vibe. I don't know how, but somehow, as a result, he becomes vibe." Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise, um, I liked the episode. It was just, it was just like kind of a fun, fun romp episode. Nothing. Yeah, I mean, nothing I really, enjoy- like there was a, a scene with with Barry just standing there in front of like. So in reality, it was just him standing there. And then, like, they CG down, they CG down all the bees, you know? So it was just, like, there was a scene where he was just standing there in a room, like, talking to someone, you know, that wasn't there. So I was, like, funny. I was looking at that, and all I could think about was how they filmed that. And I was, like, he's just standing there pretending to be afraid of nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's called acting. Uh, so that being <laughs> said... <laughs> said that being said, yeah, I enjoyed the episode. I thought uh, it was great that he brought them in on it at the end i'm glad they didn't keep that ball rolling because that would have been annoying and yes. a waste of time yes uh cisco remembering stuff interesting uh i mean i i like it but at the same time it's like does it really make sense uh but overall it was a good good episode i enjoyed it adam was funny uh the, like i said the bromance was Hi, I'm fun. Right. yeah <laughs> I'm the, like, so like it's 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 great i like that it was a good very very good episode can't wait to see the rest of the season I like the I, fact. That, I really can't say a lot about these. I like the fact that uh, you know when they finally figured out the power issue, he was like, you know, we kept thinking that we had to go bigger, but you know, as I found out recently, sometimes you have to go smaller. And I was like, ah, you're teasing me. You're just teasing me. Just you know, I'm sick. I'm sick of. Well, Iron they're working Adam. on it. Like they didn't just like, oh, I'm Adam. I'm like, just, they're well, working I'm just sick to of it, Iron so. Adam. Like, like uh, Tony Palmer. Uh, right, Tony Palmer. Um, <laughs> But they're working on it, and, you know, they understand that they're going to have to get to that point, but they have to get to that point. Like, he can't just be like, oh, I put these nanites I thought the nanites were just, like, that would have been plenty of explanation for me. Oh, they went crazy, and, like, in my brain, they shrunk me. Like, they expanded, they, they like, re- rebuilt themselves or whatever. I don't know. They'll figure it out. They got it. They clearly know where they're heading with it, so it's all good. But, yeah, so, uh, what do we got? We just got Arrow, Arrow right? Yeah. Arrow. So, like... So, he gets stabbed, and I was like, "Oh, dang, Roy's dead. And then Roy's not dead, but he's leaving. So I was like, well, why, why do I, like, I don't care, because, like, he just died five minutes ago, and it's like, but it's I would have rather know. he die. I actually wouldn't have. I actually wouldn't have. It just, it, I would have not seen him, like, to see him die, because I like to see a character that can come back, and also possibly be on the Titans series. Uh, he's not, they said. They said he's not going to be on, on the Titan series. When did they say that? Uh, recently. Yeah, they said he's not... It's not going to be the same guy. Like, he's not contracted for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that being said, I don't remember... I didn't read that, but that being said, um, uh, once again, it still brings... Out, it gives us a character that can come back at any time. So he was contracted for the two years. His contract ran up. He didn't want to sign it again, but you know what? This gives him the ability to come back. So I was perfectly fine with him not yeah, being dead. I would I rather, like, if they're going to do that spinoff show, I would rather he show up on that. And I really hope that's, like, the brave and the bold. And I think that would be cool if he was the lead on that. Mm-hmm. But that's, you know, foolish hopes from a comic fan. I mean, and, well, I mean, it all depends. Because, like, that's going to be a TNT show, so they might not even want to, like... Put those two together. I don't know why, because I believe WB owns both of them. Owns both of them. So, yeah. yeah I don't, that I, being said, so I don't. I don't know why they wouldn't want to do that. But that being, you know, that being it, I mean, this way it gives us an opportunity, you know, to any other spinoffs that might be on CW. So well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, the third, the third show that they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be another spinoff, so it could be, you know, it I could hope involve it's Roy in there. So. <laughs> I hope it's Raven. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, I enjoyed it. I like the fact that I didn't see that coming. Like when I saw him get stabbed, I was like, wow, he, they just really went with him just being dying in prison. But no, that was a good play. Like that was them spinning it off. Like, you know, it was a, all a, a, a brilliant plan by, uh, Arsenal to do this. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I that was think awesome. That was yeah. Cool. It shows his, his yeah, growth it as, shows, a, as a person. Yeah, exactly. It shows his growth as a character. Um, 
Speedy getting stabbed. Damn. Stabbed. Uh, like, for real stabbed. Although, like, for funny real. enough, because I watched uh, uh, Batman and the Red Mask or whatever it is. and uh, Red Hood. The Red Hood. Thank you. Red Hood. And in the preview for the next episode where they put her in the pit and then she becomes all crazy. It reminds me so much of Jason Todd and him going psychotic after... Uh, right, that's Jason Todd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, going psychotic. Well, they all do. Everyone goes psychotic. Sure, after. but I mean, like it, it reminds me. Like once again, it's just like more Batman in Arrow. I can see that. I'm yeah, going, she's speedy going. and she's supposed to be a sidekick. And now that now that Roy's gone, she might pro- she might probably join as as uh, Speedy. Um, yeah, it should be interesting. That should be interesting. Um, so that part I still want to know how they're going to clear up this whole like, hey, we really want to put you in jail thing. Because if he shows up as the arrow, like, well, that's the thing. Right now, he's not because like we up only have because we we still have like three or four episodes, three or four episodes. Like he, he has to so, resolve no. the police thing before then, right? But he might not be arrow before the end of the. He might not even be arrow at the end. He might be Raish. He's not gonna be Raish. There's now, been he, a, now there was I, a picture of all four people, and he was in a Raish costume. I know, so. I know, I know. I'm just saying, like he he might be Raish, and I think that's what that's because when he remember she said. Uh, my brother's gonna kill you, and he's like, he's going to beg me. Right. I'm thinking he's going to beg him to become Raish. Right. To, to use save her pit. life. Right. To use the Lazarus pit. Yep. To save her life. Yep. And that's it's gonna be annoying. But here's the thing: like, then he still has to come back. I'm saying when he comes back, because he's going to come back. Right. When he comes back to Starling City, futurely, hopefully, Star City in, in season three, right. four, four. Um. He's still gonna have the cops after him. True, like, yeah. He still can't, even if he's Green Arrow. I don't like unless we're gonna go with the DC logic of superheroes, and it's like, oh, he's Green Arrow. This is a different dude. <laughs> like, well, I mean, here's the thing. You said that. You said to me that in the comics there is this idea that people just know who Oliver Queen is and who Arrow is. I I believe I believe so that is. If yeah. that's the and case, I'm, I'm okay with that. If that's the case, people just might not give two shits. I'm okay with that. But that, that still will not prove. Then Captain Lance will still be after him. So right. Like, He's still gonna want to put because because vigilantism is illegal. So like. Right. <laughs> so like. Um, how do you... I don't know. I don't know. That's I'm, what I'm saying. I'm not the he, creators. I'm not he's the gonna, directors. He's, it's going to be interesting gonna... to see how they resolve the police right. situation. Right. Um, you know, I don't know if Captain Lance is going to be like, you know, finally deal with his emotions and he's going to mourn his daughter as opposed to trying to kill him instead. Because mm-hmm. um, that's really what it's all about. It's about Captain Lance really wanting wanting justice. Right. So, even though, like, they had that, you know, the, the imposters or whatever. Although I'm getting so sick of that drama of the aspect because, you know, we've already had Captain Lance drama with him blaming Oliver previously for her death. And yeah, but now she's legitimately dead. And yeah. It's legitimately his fault. Uh, but, uh, uh, no, actually, legitimately, this time around, it's not Oliver's fault. No, it's his fault I mean, because he didn't... she came back to town for him. She wasn't supposed to be in town. But he didn't ask her to come to town. She came to town. Right, for him. Again, it's the same reason. If she had died on the boat, she went there for him. You know what I'm saying? Even if he had asked her, she could have said no. Right, but no, like knowing he that he was dating her. Right, sister. but at that time, like he was not thinking about like, oh, I'm not like here. He straight up didn't want her to come, and she still came. Like that's not to him, in my opinion. That's not on him. You can blame anybody you want. That's not on him. I, well, I'm, what I'm That's, saying, what I'm saying is, it's all her own fault. It's, it is her own. Both fault. deaths were her fault. <laughs> it is her own fault, absolutely. And both it is her, this her one's fault. definitely her own fault. And did it end up being revolved around? All, yeah, but nobody told her to put on a suit and fight people. Nobody told her to like be a badass. Absolutely, and kick, kick that butt. was. Like, I mean, that was technically that. that was the the league. No, yeah. So nobody said <laughs> that. So like, he can't blame Oliver for his daughter. Trying to fight crime, right? That's that is what it is. So, like at the end of the day, it's it's kind of a stupid drama. Because yeah, it, yeah, was it Thea that did it? Was it Merlin that put her? You know, made her do it? Sure, he just still it, doesn't even know could, that. Could it? Could it have been? I'm saying, I'm saying, but could it have been any number of villains? Yeah, in any In any other number of situations? Absolutely. I think what he's it mad about is the that league. they didn't tell him right away. Yeah, that is, and that's pretty pathetic for and a guy. And I'd be mad too. But still, but for a guy to be on the force and then causing this entire city havoc. Well, I mean, like, there was, there was the still arrow. the imposters that were killing people. Yeah, but he knew better. 
Well, he did, but he knew people better. No, don't. Yeah, but whatever. He people knew are better. Quick, people are quick okay. to hysteria, man. Okay, and he could have easily been on, this is not the arrow, we know this is the imposters. These right. are impo-. Like, he could have easily said that, and, like, it's, it's an easy fix. And at the end of the day, he literally just became a baby. And, like, he took this, <laughs> he took this high school emotion. He's like, I'm going to hold the grudge and cause this havoc. Like, it's, it's stupid drama. I don't drama. like you no more. It is stupid drama. This is the type of drama that I hate when people try to drag on through... Like, this, this show, in season one and two, had a lot less of this drama, and it was great. I don't need this drama again. Like, we saw him be angry at Oliver. We don't need to see him angry again. It's like, we get it. The guy gets angry. Like, what? what? He's going to ignore the fact that his daughter is a fight uh, a crime fighter with Oliver and then what what's going to happen he's not going to arrest her yeah stupid that's where I'm at yeah I don't know I don't know I don't that's know but otherwise it was a good uh, great episode um, I, I've i yet to be fully disappointed with either Flash or Arrow so so far I'm, right. I'm perfectly fine with it I can't it was a good wait. episode I like the fact that he he like took over uh, Ray's suit that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I like the fact that I didn't. I didn't realize that the guy, the bad guy, was. Oh yeah, the bad guy. Uh, it was cool seeing a meta. Hold on, hold on. Let, 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 I'm just talking about the actor. I, it was cool that you know who it was. No, it was Ray Park. No, I'm sorry, not Ray Park. Damn it, I always mix him up. <laughs> it, it was um, the guy who played Abe Sapien. No idea. In in Hellboy, and I think was also the body for Silver Surfer. No, I don't. he's like the guy that people go to for like weird. Um, Doug Jones, it was Doug Jones, sure. Uh, so, but I didn't know that. I didn't realize. That. I enjoyed that the guy was a uh, metahuman, and it was in Arrow's world. Yeah, I like that they world. finally brought so that over. That I cool. like. I really like. I like that they're saying that it might not be like a metahuman that was created due to the explosion, but it was just somebody that apparently had powers before that. Well, I mean, they're not saying that. They're just saying that he I is mean, a metahuman. He was in um, Emerald City, I think. Uh, so he was in a different city. Right, he wasn't in the vicinity of the explosion. Yeah, he wasn't near enough to where he could. Have, it would have been because of the, the explosion. So he has powers some other way. So that was kind of the last thing there. And um, although I was like Superman or Cyclops, it was one or the other. <laughs> it was one or the other for me. I was like, for for a little, for the beginning part, it was Cyclops, but I was like, I could be the one. Uh, yeah, because I think I think it was basically Cyclops. Basically, because they said he converted energy, yeah, and I was like, "That's literally what Cyclops does. That's exactly what he does." Right. So, um, so I like that. That was really cool. I liked when uh, Felicity was like, um, uh, "I, you know, I beam tall, you know, it's I beam so, it's burglar so much, guy," yeah. and she was like, "It's so much easier when you give him names." Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it was cool. Um, yeah, I just I, I hope I know there's like three or four episodes left, and I really truly hope that. We don't see for the next three or four episodes on Oliver trying to fight the urge to put on a costume and fight crime in a city because that would be annoying. Well, no, because now now we have to go do the race thing. I, I don't even think we're going to be in the city for the next three episodes. Right. I mean, they might just end it with with being because she's going to be because I think he's going to become race next episode. Right. Uh, he would have to. He that's the only or way becomes, he gets become the, well. He's the devil's. What right. do you call the demon's... Um... Right, head or whatever. No, 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 no hold on. Because uh, Raish is still going to be there. Because he, he said it in, a, in one of the trailers. Because he said, like, you know, I, I am whatever the the demon's successor, I think he says. Or the the heir, of, the heir to the demon. Heir to the demon. So he's not going to be... I don't think he's going to be Raish quite yet, but he might, like... Raish might die by the end of the season or something. For him to, to like, force him to be Raish. Sure. Whatever. I don't think you can um, like. I don't think you can, like step down from that. <laughs> There's not like a like. I'm I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, yeah. So yeah. I mean, we'll definitely see him become that. You know, whatever it is, if it's race or whatever, he'll become that by the end of the season. I mean, clearly, clearly, we're not gonna resolve the whole like the city forgot. Oh, Arrow's dead. <laughs> type of deal. So. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. I, I I can't wait to see how it plays out. Hopefully, hopefully they really just kind of skip out on all this drama, or at least by next season this drama would 
Captain Lance or whatever. That really it, it has to get it done just, soon because that that will definitely make it a annoying. really really slow. And yeah, it's just, I think because that that'll bring down the show entirely. Yeah, it will. It will. It truly will. Because I don't think I don't think I won't be able to have fun with it if it's because if it's more than like if if at the end of the season it's like all right well you know he's been cleared of all charges blah 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 and like we've made him a deputy or some like something dumb like I don't even care if it's just literally like. Behind the scenes. Like, just have it happen between seasons. And then, like, we start the next season with, like, status quo. Like, he, he's back. He's Green Arrow. You know? And, like, we just don't even talk about how they fixed it. I'm okay with that. It's just, like, a quick mention, like... You know, it's a good thing that Captain Lance dropped all those charges. Sure is. Let's go fight crime. <laughs> like, I don't even care how it happens. Just do it. Mm, no, because that still would... Be like, oh, look, it's Green Arrow, which means all of a Queen's Green. No, no, no. They I'm, have no, to... no, no. I'm fine with like. I don't care if they know. Like, I oh, want. That. Okay. I just don't care for them to show me this like long because it's gonna be like this stupid drawn out process of like this is how he cleared his name. This is what we. Had oh to yeah, do. no, I agree. I just I mean, don't, I don't deal do... with that. It's no, just gonna I mean... be like. If I want to watch that stuff, I'll watch it. No, like, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. I don't. I'm not saying it should be a drawn out process, but they should take a half an episode and be explain why it's okay for him to be Arrow now, or Green Arrow, because I mean clearly they said he's going to get another new suit and whatever. So I'm excited for that. I'm really excited yeah. for that new suit. Yeah. I hope it's the season finale. Yeah. So that's it. That's all I got to say. Fun episode. That's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and let us out. Oh, just, just, just gonna let us out. This kid. Like Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up for us. Uh, if you have any questions on the show, if you have your own thoughts, definitely drop them down below. Um, check out t3gtech.com. Slowly working on it. One of these days. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. As always, I've been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off.